<laughs> yes, they do. You, your character is what? Julie? Like a, a Wendy's on, on uh, <laughs> Club uh, Planet Sirius. Um, my character is a, is, a, is a character that uh, leads the resistance against these creatures, uh, against these people. And the exterior, they look just like we do. And underneath, there's a gelatinous substance, and underneath that is a reptilian skin. So they are reptiles. And your character? My character fights the resistance. My character was fashioned after a woman named Marie Madeleine Farcade that actually led the French resistance during the Second World War. And did she survive? Well, yes, she sure did. She's uh, still living, as, as far as I know, right now in Paris. What does the V stand for? In well, the V stands for victory. Originally, it stood for victory. The Winston Churchill sense of victory. Yes, the, v, the Winston yeah. Churchill victory. Um, what's happened, what's transpired, sort of, um, is the visitors think that V stands for visitors. So now we it's not victory, better. but it's visitors. Yeah. Is, does this somehow represent, because of the rating success of the miniseries, and now they're making it into a regular series, a, a comeback for science fiction? I think so. I, not only is it a comeback for science fiction, it's a new kind of science fiction. What the, the science fiction that was portrayed in the past on television and so forth was something that, that, that was beyond what our technology could even fathom. Sure. And what we're doing now is combining what we know does exist or is possible with the reality of the human aspect, how human beings would respond to this actually happening. What did you mean when you said, as I noted in the introduction, that somehow when you think about it, you consider it more feasible than you might have before and perhaps more feasible than other people do? Well, actually, I didn't really give it much thought. Um, when I was growing up, I always had an idea that, that there was, um, that I'm sure that there were other solar systems with technologies far advanced than ours, or, or technologies um, that were able to bring them to, into our solar system, yeah. and I just sort of took it for granted, but never really thought about it. And after doing the show, I all, inevitably thought a lot about it, and now it's, it's very feasible, uh, very know, probable. Carl Sagan says, and, and other astronomers and people who have looked at extraterrestrial life, have said that it's a kind of arrogance for us as a human species to assume that we're the only uh, people in the whole universe that could possibly um, yeah. be, uh, have the, the intelligence to have created a life. Ab absolutely. We've only been on this, pl we've been on this planet less than 2,000 years. And our solar system, as we know it, um, is, is relatively small. So when you think that, that if we were on this planet 2,000 more years, uh, how big the solar system would become and how, how we would travel. We're, we've already gone to the moon and several other places. Why are you an actress? Why am I an actress? Ha! Um, I, it's, it's something, I was in the fourth grade. I did a production called The Sound of Music and ad-libbed a song that no one had ever heard before, including myself. And the, what happened with the response from the audience and the feeling that it gave me, I was hooked. And, and the, I'm, I do it because it, it feels so good. Yeah. Does the success you're having do anything to you? I mean, has it changed you? Are you different than you were years ago, before, uh, a very few short years ago, before you yeah. got this attention? I think... The success that V has given me has made me grow up, made me accept the responsibility of being in, um, not just being in the public eye, but when people approach you on the street or when they approach me in airports, I see that they really, they want to see who I really am, who I am, and I, it's almost a responsibility for me to give them that instead of like hide and, and um, that's a, that's a very big responsibility. Well, well, the next time somebody comes into the airport, I'll suggest they can talk to you not only about V, but about transcendental meditation yeah. and also about trap shooting, something that uh, you <laughs> like a lot. We uh -huh. thank you for joining Nightwatch. It's a nice to thank have you, you and uh, much success with the series. Thank you very much, Charlie. We'll continue. Stay with us.